ranch. I, you know, I can, I can fix prolapsed cattle. I can, you know, we did all of our own veterinary work. <laughs> Not to but you do need to follow your passions. Right. I would love for it to be after I'm dead. <laughs> 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 and and um, uh, and you know nobody, none of the teachers knew how to operate this computer. Nobody did, but there was a stack of manuals and. Hey boy, a yellow hat, two videos in a row. You know what that means? I don't like how my hair looks. Friends, welcome back to the Brave New Wear Show. My name's Christian. Today, you're joining me in the holodeck where we explore wild, wacky adventures, answering the questions that you hold most dear. Let's get into it. Jeff Bezos, the world's richest and possibly baldest man in the universe, is on a mad dash to break into the world of fashion, specifically to get after your high fashion. And Amazon isn't alone in this crazy venture. Fellow retail giant Walmart has also spent the last decade trying to break into uh, fashion e-commerce with acquisitions like Mod Cloth and Bonobos. And the e-commerce or the chief of their e-commerce department has said in the past that they're looking to buy 40 to 50 online retailers in order to appeal to millennials. But it's telling, looking at how Walmart has done with this whole adventure, uh, they have already sold Mod Cloth after two years of owning it, and it looks like they might be selling Bonobos as well. Uh, still, they progress. They try to move forward. But why, you might ask? I don't know. I don't have all the answers. I just kind of say stuff. And I'm really not happy about the shadows that are on the green screen. I did everything right. But Amazon, with their vice grip, over almost all of e-commerce can't quite make it in fashion. And they've spent a lot of time and money with different ventures. If you look up a list of the different brands that Amazon owns, there is like 10, 20, 30 kind of their own proprietary fashion brands that they sell on amazon.com. They have had multiple fashion uh, ventures that they've tried to release in order to break into fashion. One of their most recent ones right now is called Amazon Drop. And I know what you're thinking. Whoa, that's lit. Amazon's doing drops now. Well, you'd be mistaken. Amazon Drop is like their attempt to emulate the streetwear model in that there's like limited number of products. It is released in a specific time period and it's promoted by like fashion influencers. But if you look at the garments, they're all very um, nondescript it still looks like they're trying to appeal to a kind of middle brow consumer, not necessarily somebody who's really interested in fashion until now. Despite Jeff Bezos attempts to kick it with the cool kids by going to every Met Gala he can, they really haven't been able to break into luxury fashion. Women's Wear Daily has recently released an article where they describe anonymous sources have uh, told them that there is my guy Christian was really fumbling the whole thesis of the video. So let me take it over from this magazine called Women's Wear Daily that covers like fashion industry stuff had anonymous sources tell them that Amazon is planning a new luxury platform that's going to come out by sometime this year. Kind of fumbled it myself. Amazon refused to comment in that they didn't uh, deny nor uh, prove that these rumors are true. But the sources for Women's Wear Daily have said that Amazon is not only planning on building a huge warehouse in Arizona for fulfillment, but they're also planning a hundred million dollar advertising campaign for when this platform launches. Why the hell are you going to sell your luxury goods? on Amazon's X instead of something like Farfetch. Presumably, Amazon can outperform any of the competition in terms of speed, efficiency, and the massive amount of data it has on basically any of its buyers, consumers, the people who are on the website. But Women's Wear Daily made a really interesting point that uh, points out kind of Amazon's greatest weakness in the field. And I wanted to read it out loud. The no-frills digital giant 
peddler of products from baby food to batteries to bicycles, has never spun romantic narratives, conjured mystique around the merchandise it sells, or built anything as rare, special, or even cool. They very, the very opposite of luxury brand strategies. The very opposite of luxury brand strategies. You get their point. I, I wrote it, I copied it and pasted it. That's what they wrote. In a lot of ways, this special quality, the way that brands are able to weave a narrative or fiction um, behind their stories is what has allowed fashion to be special. And perhaps it's what has thwarted these massive retailers like Amazon and Walmart who have attempted so many times to break into these fields. But let's not underestimate Amazon's ability to scale. The giant didn't make profit for years while it was building up. It would end up bringing in a lot of money and it would end up spell it, sent the blah, blah. It would end up spending more. And this is kind of what Amazon does. It will spend as much money as it needs to in order to control and dominate whatever industry or market that it's trying to sell its products in. And it could very well do the same thing with luxury fashion. It'll be able to scale faster, it'll be able to build faster. It could presumably provide a better service than any of the retailers that exist now, say like Essence or like Moda Operandi, just because they have much more money than everyone else and they have the opportunity or the ability to lose money for years if it means winning the war and controlling the market in the end. And that's right, we're at war with Amazon. They're coming after your luxury fashion. But you guys gotta tell me, do you think this mystique, this ability for brands to weave a narrative or for other retailers to kind of in themselves embody that mystique, do you think that that is powerful enough or strong enough that retailers like Amazon and Walmart will never get it, they'll never be cool enough? Or is it very possible that with the size and money that Amazon has at its disposal, it'll just hire the right people. It'll hire the right uh, cool, cool, cool guy in fashion and tell him, uh, make a website cool, sell the cool stuff, and it'll just throw money at the problem until it controls the market. I need your answers, so answer in the poll below, which doesn't exist, and let me know what you think. I have no idea how this holodeck's gonna look. I spent so much energy and time trying to set up these stupid lights, set up this stupid thing, and it's like, eh, nothing works. Technology is horrible. I can't record anything. Making videos is hard. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below, and I'll catch you next time.